Hello, this is Southern Star 71. We're going to play Steam World Build about the first 30 minutes. We played the demo that was on Steam. This is now currently on Game Pass for PC. And that's how we're playing it. So we're going to start a brand new game. Be sure you like this video with a thumbs up. Also, you can leave comments or ask questions down below in the comments section. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 500 subs in watch hours. We need quite a few of those. So you can watch other videos on the channel besides this one. But yeah, sub to help out quite a bit. I would appreciate it. We're trying to get the join button. Now, let's start a new game in Steam World Build. Here we go. We're going to see. New game in Cape Gorge. Or High Rollers Dunes. Grand Gully. Bolton. Fossil Park. I think I'm going to start with Cape Gorge. We're going to go casual because we're casual. Resources are plentiful, costs are low, enemies are easy to defeat. Sounds like what I need. There's a random mind map. We do what the story, we do what the tutorial. We need to name our city. Go name it Start Down. And we're going to start. And you get Gorge. Casual difficulty. With the tutorial, the story of the random mind map checked. Start. Hot tip number 16. Upgrading your roads increases not only the coverage range. All building can take to it. But also. Something to do with walking. This is a game by the station. You see all the stars up there? That's where we'll live once we escape the earth. There's so many. Which one? Whichever one you want, kiddo. How will we get all the way up there, Pa? By following my plan, little friend. What are you planning? I'm here to get you off safety. It's this whole purpose of my existence. Look at that Paul found you then. Sure is nice with someone looking out for us. Fight! How will you help us then? Allow me to explain. Long ago, a great horde of ancient technology was burning here. Technology that has power to do what you need. Very deep, deep below the earth. But as you see, I quite like the ability to dig it up. Paul and I are really good at digging things up. Yes, bots are excellent for major labor. I do not think it will be an easy journey, my eager friend. We have to go further down than you would ever think possible. And only once we reach the very bottom of the world, we will find your way to the stars. Well, if it won't be easy, then I'll need the best second in command to make sure we get there. Who's that? Who, of course. Wow, does that mean I'm going to be a hero like you? Heroes give people hope. Yeah, you've always given me that kiddo. Must mean you've always been in one. Eagle squeals. Look, Paul, I see it. I see it. The mine shaft. All right, folks, time to get to work. We did select the uh, robot speak and the options. Steam World Build. We go. The first 30 minutes, pretty much. Thank <laughs> you. 
We'll have to stay focused in order to get to the old tech and escape the rock. Jack Clutch Sprocket. Asteroid Clutch Sprocket. Static. You hear that? Something is making noise. Probably just some old hitches on the mine shaft elevator that are cooking. We'll get it working in no time. Gun, Brit, gun to wire. You better. I'll be ruined if this is okay. You hear? Ruined. We'll need to get this city up here first and foremost, though. Please the area for resources and the people for all they're worth. That's mighty harsh, ma'am. Just get it done. Okay. Let's get you started then. Move this camera with the Wasta keys. Which, yes, you can rotate the camera by pressing the hooded left mouse button. Well. Oh, it's been a mouse button. Our workers will need somewhere to live, so let's build some residentials. Make sure your residentials are connected by connect to the old train station by road. Hint: All buildings must be connected by road to the old train station. To well, in order to function. But he's built six residentials. What was that? Locked. No, it wasn't. There we go. Let's rotate. I need to build one more. That, okay. Some of the residuals are not connected to the train station by road. Let's fix that. Either use the road tool or the move tool to ensure that all the residuals are connected to train station via road. So let's put some road in. Right here. We need some road here. Alrighty. Do we need? we go. Fulfilling needs will increase your population and earn you higher taxes. Currently, your citizens need a general store. And service buildings still fulfill the needs of residential buildings within its range. This is shown with a blue road that highlights affected buildings. Build a general store. I 
Hopefully he can go and put it. We want a tab to rotate it. We need some road to connect it, I think. Make sure. It looks like the general store is out of reach. Some of the workers. Make sure you place it with road access to your residential buildings. Thought I did. We might need some road here. Use the move tool. Select a worker with its ability. Let's. Okay. We need road here, though. thought that was going to be good. That did. Okay. What is this? The abandoned train station. Repair it. Can't repair it. The general store. Oh. These two are in the range. I need to move those two. Okay, that worked. Now. Let's take worker. Unlock the milestone. A new milestone. New milestones unlock new buildings and new needs. For your citizens that must be fulfilled. Hint, you can always check the needs of your citizens by selecting any residential building. Like a worker residential building. A short description of building. Residential work houses generate workforce that will staff your refineries. They also pay minor taxes. Which is your primary source of income. Needs not satisfied. They need. Look at that. But look at that. They need the wrench. Click to continue. Fulfill we'll says needs and you'll advance city and earn benefits. We definitely need the wrenches. At 100%, you can upgrade your residential buildings if you've unlocked the next citizen tier. The money and sea bots you'll earn by keeping them happy. We've got to build a city, we'll need building materials. The forester turns trees into logs. Which are needed for construction. I've marked a good spot for the forester. Hmm. Right here. Hint. The more trees you buy, the better the forester will perform, as indicated by the facility level. Build a forester.
Maybe Forza's Liquor Mill? Oh. Forster. Lumber Mill is Forster and Lumber Mill. Let's see. Okay. Warehouse to distribute resources through the city. If a refinery is not within coverage range a, or if a warehouse, it cannot deliver its resources hit the coverage of a warehouse is shown as a blue highlight on your roads when something selecting or placing them. So we need a warehouse. Wonder why. Just to get the other house here. Need some road. Need to connect. Now, many refiners, refineries require resources from other buildings in order to produce their own. The lumber mill will use logs from the forester to produce boards. Hint, refiners do not need to be within reach of residential buildings to make goods available to them. So... We're still going to do this right here. Put it close to the warehouse. As you progress through milestones, new needs will develop on your citizens or for your citizens. Buildings that can fulfill these needs will unlock at the same time. Hit select any residential to see what new needs they have. Still need the service shop. All right. Still need the service shop. That'll be nice. Let's go ahead and move. Make sure to pull the name. Water is essential. For steam bots to be powered, of course, makes sense. Cactus water can be extracted from local cacti. The cactus farm. Hint, you can't build the cactus farm yet to build more residentials and or fulfill citizen needs until you have enough workers to unlock it. So, can I do the cactus farm? need more workers so to get more 
workers would have to have more. Okay. Trying to get enough workers. Wonder where we're gonna put the cactus farm. Get enough workers. Need. Possibly. Oh, general store. Okay, general store. Provides the basic service for your workers by supplying them. The general goods. Maybe I need another general store. working on it. We still need plenty more workers. Oh. Still trying to figure some things out here. It looks like we need So we need more workers still. We're going to need the light end of the milestone. We still need let me work this cactus farm. Oh. Cactus farm right there. No fields playing in. Place fields. Oh. Okay. 
Put it right out back here. Okay. Squeezes juice from cacti to make cactus water. A rare and valuable resource on this dusty world. We do two more fields. By well, building another lumber mill, we can speed up boar production. Charcoal kiln. Charcoal keeps steep bots operational. A charcoal kiln is the most in any city. Hint. Can you build a charcoal kiln and yet build more residentials and or books as it needs until you have enough workers to unlock it. So we need the charcoal kiln. We need more workers before we can. We need 24 more workers. So we're going to have to build some more houses. Should be enough now to the charcoal kiln. Which will replace somewhat close to the lumber mill. When repaired, the train station makes it possible to trade. It will also allow us to buy used items from the store. Hint: repairing the train station will fulfill a need. With the old girl up and running again, we'll be able to ferry in supplies much easier. Wait, what's that? Well, look there, someone was hiding back in the shadows. Oh, my no, not hiding, sleeping. The train is running. Hello! It is just an old rusty bot. Okay, if my enforcer will throw him out. Yep. Bark piston. Ma'am, that ain't no way to trace stranger. We're happy to meet you. I don't want to be a stranger. I am the trader. This is what I do. I think. I can conduct all your trade. The train listens to me. That sounds mighty helpful, partner. We'll come on board. I will join. The rumbling of the ground scares me. Why can't I remember? Why indeed? Hmm. Trade station gives you access to trade and the ability to buy items to boost the efficiency of your city. Click to continue. <clears throat> you can see currently we have no ongoing trades. Item shop needs money and rubies. Go and click to continue. There are no ongoing trades. Trades will be completed on trade arrival. This is where you can set up new trade deals. You can also keep track of any active trades. Click to continue. Item shop. This is where you buy items and equipment that can boost your city and mine. I just will refresh when the train arrives at the station. Click to continue. To buy three rubies, it takes 8,000 money. Which, we have 11,740 now. And three rubies, that's our funds. Workforce reduction. It lowers the workforce by 50%. And gold scavenging. Minor equipment. So we could buy some rubies right now. So we could buy. Their money continues to go up. So must be right in the background. Shop will refresh on next train arrival in three minutes and 20 seconds. Do you think we would buy these rubies though? 
Oh, I'm not sure. We need rubies. For the worker reduction, workforce reduction, and gold scavenging. We need 10. Let's put us at 8. I'd do that. To create a new trade deal, select the resource you want to sell. Click to continue. Let's try to sell. Then select the resource you want to buy. Well. Modify the amount you wish to trade for. Click this button to create a trade deal. I don't want to do that. Trades will be completed each time the trade arrives at the station. It will be recurring until you delay it. I don't want to do the money. I'm going to do the water. Take 25 for one board. Cancel. Okay. I think we're going to pause here if we can't. Let me just say, I'm Southern Stars 71. This has been the first 30 minutes. Give or take a little bit. Of Steam World Build. It's on Gate Pass for PC. We were playing on casual difficulty. You may want to keep it bumped up or bump it up even further. As you can see, this is a city builder. The main thing you want to do is make sure you have enough residentials, houses, so you have workers. Do your roads correctly. Get you some wood coming in at the lumber mill. Then you'll need some cactus water. And some charcoal. And that's the early part. And then maybe you'll want to micromanage the train at the train station once it's repaired. So the first 30 minutes of Steam World Build, it's on the Game Pass for PC. It's more likely on Steam also. If you like this, you can check it out on Game Pass for PC if you have that. Or Steam. Be sure to give me a thumbs up on the video. You can leave comments or ask questions down below in the comment section. And if you're not yet sub to the channel, please consider doing so. Ring the bell for notifications also, so you get notified when the video goes live on the channel. I'm trying to get to 500 subs with plenty of watch hours so I can get the join button. Thank you very much for watching. Again, Southern Star 71. Have yourself a great day. Goodbye.